So yeah, I feel like crap. I don't feel good. I had intended on making a fun exercise video this week, but that's not happening. Honestly, I considered skipping this week altogether. I mean, as it is, this, uh, this video is not going to post till later in the week. But this is what's happening, so I figured I might as well just go ahead and record it. Right now I feel like crap. And seeing how I spent the better part of last night in the bathroom, that's saying something. As part of my ongoing effort to get healthy and lose weight, I started the keto diet. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, what in the hell is that? Well, keto is short for ketogenic. So it's a low carb, moderate protein, and high fat diet. Now, if this is the first time you're ever hearing of it, you might be asking, well, why in the hell would you eat more fat in order to lose weight? It's a good question, and that's why I asked it first. The keto diet works by eliminating glucose in your system. So, um, a big part of that means no really grain products. So, no, no sugars, no pasta, definitely no bread. If you, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my turmoil when I had to turn down a pizza this past weekend. The struggle is real. And because most of us have um, a high carb diet, we usually have plenty of glucose in our system. And that is what our bodies use um, as energy. So when this is no longer available, your body starts to use fat instead. This process is called ketosis, hence keto diet. Um, and that's what you wanna happen when you're trying to lose weight. And unfortunately, when your body is going through a big operational shift like that, um, and learning how to completely function differently in order to use different things as energy, um, you tend to feel worse before you feel better. And, um, with this diet that um, is known lovingly as the keto flu. It's basically like withdrawal, but from carbs. I did two hits of that, and Bugs Bunny and Scooby-Doo and all my favorite cartoons came to my room and ate cookies with me the same song for 16 hours. God damn! And that can manifest in any number of ways, um, including Fatigue, headache, uh, irritability, um, difficulty focusing, aka brain fog, um, lack of motivation, dizziness, um, sugar cravings, um, nausea, muscle cramps, and uh, diarrhea. So that's fun. Like I said, the keto diet should also be high in fat but moderate protein. Um, and when you're just starting out, it's easy to have an unbalanced diet um, and have unbalanced proportions. Fat for Weight Loss has a um, pretty good video over on their channel um, that has a solid breakdown of how your meals should be divided 
um, between proteins and vegetables and fats, etc. Um, when you're on this diet. And long story short, a good portion of your diet should actually incorporate vegetables. Um, so while it's awesome to have a diet that includes bacon, um, if your ratios are off with too much protein, um, that can also mess with your digestion. Um, so, I mean, my body is, um, my body's trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing to it. And last night, uh, at like one, two in the morning, um, I was wondering the same thing. And, and right now I really feel crummy. But, ultimately, it'll be worth it. Once I stop feeling terrible. And I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll explain a little bit more about the keto diet in a future video. Um, and, you know, while I wanted to have a happy exercise video this week, I guess I can try to do that you know, next time. But, um, so, yeah. How's your weight loss experience going? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, share the video. That helps me out. And, uh, I think, uh, I think I'm going to go back to sleep now. And, um, I'll see you around.